Hi, I'm Joe Kissel. I've written a bunch of books in the Take Control series, including a couple about iOS devices. But what you're about to discover is a completely new kind of Take Control experience. It's a series of live video presentations in which I will share with you the best ways of using your iPad for work. Now, the iPad is a fantastic work tool, regardless of what kind of work you're doing, whether you're editing text or creating spreadsheets or managing databases, or annotating PDFs, or any of many other uh, activities, your iPad is a great work tool. So in this series of live video presentations, I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite tools and techniques and tips for being productive with your iPad. What you're watching now is a presentation that we recorded live to give you a taste of what the actual sessions will be like. So when you join us live, you will see something that looks very much like this. We looked at a whole bunch of different online video services, and the one we selected for this first Take Control Live series is Google Hangouts On Air. During the presentation, you'll be able to see a live video of the presenter, that's me. You'll also be able to see a live video of our producer, that's Take Control publisher Adam Angst. And you'll even be able to see what's on my iPad screen, and that's gonna uh, use a little bit of magic that I'll show you a bit later. You can watch these presentations live on any Mac or PC. Now, since we are talking about the iPad here, I wish I could tell you that you can also watch it live on an iPad. Unfortunately, right now, Google Hangouts on Air doesn't work very reliably for live streaming of this kind of content. So, unfortunately, you'll have to use a Mac or PC for the live part, but there, all the presentations are gonna be recorded. So, after the fact, when you're watching a recording, you can definitely use an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod Touch or any device that you like. It's just a regular YouTube recording. Now, as you can probably tell by looking at the screen, these presentations are a collaborative effort. For instance, my role as producer is to introduce and manage the session, control which video image fills the main area of the screen, so you know what to focus on, chat with the audience, and then at the end, pass questions and feedback on to Joe. My role as the presenter is to tell you everything I know about using your iPad for work. And your role as the audience is to help shape the presentations by offering us feedback and asking questions. Now, of course, you don't have to. If you want to just sit back and watch, that's totally fine. But in a few minutes, I'll tell you about the two ways that you can participate in these presentations. Now, for part of the presentations, I will open up Keynote on my iPad just if I have some bullet points I want to get out or some graphics I want to show you or things of that sort. But I won't just be showing you Keynote. I'll also be showing you live iPad app. So I can open a pad here that would use a stylus. There we go, fat pad. One of many uh, iPad apps you might use for taking notes. Speaking of taking notes, Although I'll be talking about note-taking apps, you won't have to take notes during these presentations. That's because I've already taken them for you. Everything, all the major topics I discuss, and all the apps and accessories and other products I mentioned will all be included in a PDF that you can download at the end of each session. So everything will be right there for you. You can just watch without having to worry about taking any notes. Of course, you can also re-watch the video as many times as you like. Now, if we were all in the same room and you had questions, you could just raise your hand and I could call on you and be very interactive. There are some ways of kind of simulating that with online uh, video presentations, but we found them to be kind of clunky and distracting. So in order to keep the process as smooth as possible, especially for people who are watching the recordings afterwards, we decided to use two different techniques to enable you to interact. Number one, look at the PDF season pass that you downloaded, and you'll see an outline, or a preliminary outline anyway, for each of the four sessions. As you're looking over what I'm about to cover, if you see anything that you wonder about or you, you or aren't sure that I'm gonna cover what you really want to know or you have a specific question about, there is a contact uh, link in the PDF so you can send us email in advance, and as long as you give us enough notice, like let's say a week ahead of time, I will do my best to work your question and answer into the presentation itself. Second way is while you're watching the live presentations, there will also be a live chat window right next to the video. 
So as you're typing in your, your uh, text there, the producer will be watching that. And at the end of each presentation, Adam will relay your questions to me, time permitting. Now, if I, if I don't know the answer to one of your questions, or if uh, we run out of time, we will do our best to cover that in a future presentation. Uh, so uh, at, least for, at least for the first three, you have opportunities to get stuff covered in the next one. Now, before I go, I wanted to give you something uh, that's actually practical and concrete, and that is uh, some tips on using your iPad for presentations. Now I showed you uh, just a little bit of Keynote a moment ago, and if you are giving a presentation to a large group using Keynote or another presentation app on your iPad is, is a really great way to do it. So you might use an adapter like this. This is a 30-pin uh, dock connector to HDMI, uh, or this one is 30-pin dock connector to VGA. And of course, Apple also sells versions of these with a lightning connector if you have a newer iPad. So you can connect one of these to a projector or a large screen TV, and uh, that's, that's really great. Except, uh, you know, if you're like me, you might want to walk around the stage with your iPad in your hand while you're giving a presentation. And I've, I've had that cable fall out while I'm walking around the stage, and that's not a great experience. Um, there's uh, also the fact that you might not have the right adapter or you might not have it with you, but maybe your Mac is there and it's hooked up to a projector. Or maybe you're not giving a live presentation at all, but you want to record what's on your iPad screen to put on the web or to send to someone after the fact. So in all these cases, what you really want to do is to mirror your iPad screen on your Mac. And once it's on your Mac screen, you can do anything you want with it. So that's exactly what I've done here. When you're seeing my iPad screen, that's actually my Mac screen. I downloaded and installed a program called Reflection. And what Reflection does is it turns your Mac into an AirPlay receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to full screen mode here to hide the clutter in the background. So once I have that app running on my Mac, I go onto my iPad, I double tap the home button to display the multitasking bar at the bottom, swipe over, and I tap the AirPlay button, tap the name of the Mac that I want to display the content on, and just make sure that mirroring is turned on. That's it. Now everything that's on my iPad screen is also on my Mac screen. Once it's on your Mac screen, you can do anything you want with it. You can share it live on the air like we're doing right now, or screen sharing, or recording it, or anything else you like. I do want to mention the little circles that you see on the screen where I tap and swipe. Those are courtesy of a jailbroken iPad and an app called Display Out. So it does take a little more work to get that to happen. I wanted to do that for this presentation so that it's a little bit easier to see where I'm tapping, uh, but uh, that's something that I probably won't get into the details of. So that's it for this preview. I hope you've learned something, and I look forward to seeing you back here for our next live presentation.